Union College celebrating a 5-0 win over Clarkson last night, and that allowed Union President Stephen Inley to present the Cleary Cup. The third time in the last four seasons he's done that as Captain Matt Bodie hoists it over his head. Right now, the Dutchmen have a share of the Cleary Cup, but they want it all to themselves. One point in the next three games is all they need, and they want to get it tonight against the St. Lawrence University Saints. Union College Hockey on uh, Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. We're live from the Electric City, Schenectady, New York. Uh, looking at four straight NCAA tournament appearances and a Frozen Four appearance. Not too shabby for this group of five young men. There's no question they will leave Union College as the most accomplished class in the history. And, it's, and the season's not over yet. The season's not over yet. Both these goaltenders had shutouts last night, but as you mentioned, in the introduction, Matt Weninger has only got an 87 save percentage, and uh, he's going to have to bring that up in order for this team to go a long way in the playoffs. Union going left to right on your television, wearing their home garnet on white. St. Lawrence Saints wearing their road white on red. Rick Bennett, you see his record, 69, 27, and 16 in three years. Not a bad way to start your coaching career either. Not too shabby. Puck is dropped, and we are underway in Schenectady. Thanks so much for joining us on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. Matt DeBray alongside Dan Fridgen bringing a Union College hockey. Ends up at St. Lawrence and not Colgate. Up top, Jinkrock shot deflected, save Leninger, he's down, swept wide of the net by Wilkins. Off the wall is Sullivan, oh nice pass, Jinkrock scores! Sebastian Jinkrock on the power play, Union goes up one to nothing. That was just a great play by Sullivan, he kind of looked everybody off, they thought he was going to shoot it, he dishes over to Jinkrock for the one-timer, and he makes no mistake putting it home behind Weniger. And as we mentioned, to give Union enough opportunities on the power play, they'll make it pay. What a fake by Sullivan. Gets it to Jindra. Wilkins was in front, causing some havoc. And the Dutchman take the lead. Just the second goal of the year for the sophomore defenseman. But he has got some offensive skills. And you can see him on display there. Now he's got a nice set of hands. He skates real well. Son of former NHLer Sebastian Jindra. So teams back at full strength. Union has outshot St. Lawrence 15 to two in this first period. Three on two over the blue line. Pass right in front. Over to the right side. Score! Nick Cruz. Two nothing Union. Well, that's just bad. Bad luck on behalf of Matt Carey. He doesn't tie his man up. Nice passing. Cruz gets his stick free and. That's just a tap me. Thank you very much. Vecchione in front. Champini to Cruz to finish. And the lightning strikes. That could be the fastest two goals in Union College history. Just a great play. The nice blind feed up to Vecchione. Vecchione tripped up. And there's going to be a call. Here's Wilkins. He's got Bodie in front of the car in the trailer. In front shots. And rebound. Score! Weninger's hurt, and Union's going to get the power play. Well, he jumped up on the play. He didn't waste any time, and you had number 24, Brian Ward. He was going to go and take the penalty, and he's in the box right now. But Vecchione stepped up and put that top shelf on the backhand. Look at that. Wow. With one knee on the ice. What a move by Vecchione. A fantastic goal. Bodie, center of the blue line, back to Gostasbear. Gostasbear to Bodie, back to Gostasbear. Surveying the landscape, back to Bodie. He's under pressure. Nifty back pass, right side shot by Carr. Scores! A car bomb on the power play for nothing Union. Oh, well, looks like that went five hole on Leninger. Great play. Nice patience by both Bodie and Gossip there on the point. They didn't like what they saw. And the reason why I say great patience because they didn't force anything. And that allowed Carr to be open. And he puts the one-timer home. Daniel Carr gets his 70th career goal on the power play. And Union goes up four to nothing. Talked about Matt Hatch's speed, and he made something happen there. Nice block by Rayleigh, but 
Nice set. Here's Carr. He swung on the breakaway. Scores! Daniel Carr strikes again. 5 nothing Union. Well, that was just a bad line change by St. Lawrence. They got caught with one of their D coming off the ice, which left Daniel Carr wide open at that far blue line. And they didn't waste any time getting that puck to him. Runninger trying to poke check. And Daniel Carr just threw it upstairs. Once Runninger extends himself, he cannot move. And he just threw it up in the top corner of the blocker. And we've got a goaltending change. Knocked away from him by Alex Hagen. In behind for Dahl. Up top, right side, winding and firing, save, rebound, it's loose, it scores! Getting the goal is Hagen, and St. Lawrence ends the shutout streak and gets on the board. Well, that all started with a good forecheck by St. Lawrence. He had Gossip Bear with control of the puck and uh, turns it over. Ends up going to the point, shot, rebound. And, of course, Alex Hagen staying right with it. Chips that past Stevens. But, again, all started on the forecheck, creating a turnover. And no question, he grinds it out. Sets his tone just from a work ethic perspective. Wilkins, center, a backhander, Lichtenwald scores! Eli Lichtenwald, 6-1 Union. You follow up on it, and the big guy's got himself one. Very unselfish play. And they get the first one on the Tyler Parks that came in relief for Weninger. Here's another look at it right here. Wilkins pulls it back. Great feed across to Lipsonwald. And we could be seeing the first time a 6-6 forward scores on a 6-6 goalie in this building. Well, you know what? That was basically a two-on-two. -two. And for some reason, the defense for St. Lawrence get crossed up and they both go to the same guy. Long cut. All given away again by Union backhander score. The Dutchman with a bad giveaway. Gunnar Hughes will bang it home his fifth of the year and it's 6-2. Well again that's Patrick Doherty that causes the turnover and Gunnar Hughes makes Union play. Pay I mean there's Bodie turns it over and Stevens didn't have any chance on that whatsoever. So now a 6-2 affair. Although the officials come right over. There's a penalty being called here. Hughes is going to go to the box. And Union's going to go on the power play. And I must have missed it. I didn't see him do anything uh, after the whistle. But I have to assume that's what this is being called for. Because if it was during the play, they would wave off the goal. I sticking the call, so something after the play. Hughes is fired up in the box. There's Hughes. Oh, right there, right there, yeah. And they're right, and that was after the goal, so the goal will count. But then Hughes is going to go for the high stick, so Union will go on the power play here. Yeah, he got the stick high up on uh, Taylor, Jeff Taylor. Right yeah. Will guarantee that it is all theirs, and they will be the number one seed in the ECAC tournament. Gets the clear, just seven seconds to go. St. Lawrence goes into passive mode, and they're just going to kill off this clock. And on their feet here at Messerink, they clinch the number one seed in the ECAC playoffs, 10th straight home win, which is the second longest streak in the nation right now. And Union College gets the home sweep this weekend. The win on senior night. We will be back with senior night festivities. 6-2 your final Union over St. Lawrence. These five seniors have played a huge role in the banners that hang overhead here at Mesa Rink. This senior class has compiled a 96, 37, and 20 record in four seasons. Capturing three Cleary Cup titles as ECAC Hockey regular season champions and winning at least two White Law Cups as ECAC Hockey tournament champions.
This senior group has also helped the Dutchman record four consecutive 20-win seasons and at least three NCAA tournament appearances. And of course, who can forget the trip to the 2012 NCAA Frozen Four in Tampa? This senior class has given you, the fans, so much to cheer about as Union has won 77% of its games played at Mesa Rink over the last four years. During that time, these seniors have also posted 27 wins against national ranked opponents while also helping the Dutchman achieve their highest ranking ever, number three in the nation. So ladies and gentlemen, we join together tonight to honor and celebrate our five Union College Hockey Seniors. The first senior we recognize tonight has been an outstanding two-way player in his four years at Union, recording an impressive career plus-minus rating of plus 53 while appearing in 139 career games. He is enjoying one of his finest offensive seasons, posting a career-high nine goals, including a two-goal performance against Harvard. This senior notched game-winning goals against Dartmouth and Yale, and over the course of his career, has scored seven game winners. Known for his speed on the ice and his dapper appearance off the ice, this senior is working toward a degree in liberal arts and sciences and owns a 3.12 GPA. A native of Messina, New York, and joined by his parents, Tina and Brian, please welcome number 15, Matt Hatch. Our next senior currently ranks second on the team in assists and has set a career high for points in a season. On three separate occasions during his career, he has scored two goals in a game and last year contributed to Union's victory in the ECAC championship game with a pair of assists. He recorded a career high three assists earlier this year against Lake Superior State and notched the game-winning goal against Princeton here at Mesa Rink. In addition, he has appeared in 123 games in a Dutchman uniform. A history major with a 3.14 GPA who hails from Darien, Connecticut. He is joined on the ice tonight by his parents, Kathy and Bob, and his sisters, Kate and Annie. Please welcome number 16, Kevin Sullivan! This next senior has displayed exemplary character on and off the ice. Last year, he received the team's Unsung Hero Award and scored a pivotal goal against Boston College in the NCAA Regional Semifinals. This year, he scored the game-winning goal against 14th-ranked Cornell here at Mesa Rink. This senior has also lent his time to many community service projects and was recently named a finalist for the Senior Class Award, which honors student athletes who serve as positive role models in the community. His achievements in the classroom are equally as impressive, as this economics major owns a cumulative 3.8 grade point average. A resident of McKinney, Texas, he is joined on the ice tonight by his parents, Christine and David, and his brother, Cody, an Army Second Lieutenant. Please welcome Assistant Captain, number 23, Cole Ikala! senior has etched his name in the school record book in several categories. 
He recently became the school's top all-time Division I points leader and own union, owns Union's Division I record for career goals. This senior has reached the 30-point mark in all four of his seasons and currently ranks fifth among active NCAA players in career points. He is also the team's leading point producer this season while ranking second in goals. In December, he was named an ECAC Hockey Player of the Month. He is an economics major with a 3.45 overall GPA and a native of Sherwood Park, Alberta. Joined on the ice tonight by his parents Marge and Jim and his grandfather Bill Leslie, please welcome number nine, Daniel Carr! senior is a two-time team captain and ranks as the school's all-time leading defenseman score at the Division I level. He is also closing in on the school's Division I career assist mark and currently ranks as the third leading defenseman scorer in the country. This season, he paces the Dutchman in assists while ranking third in scoring and block shots. A staple on the Union power play, this senior's cool demeanor with the puck earned him All-American honors in 2012. He has also been named to two All-ECAC Hockey Squads and the ECAC Hockey All-Rookie Team. He is a liberal arts major with a 3.29 GPA and hails from East St. Paul, Manitoba. Joining him on the ice tonight are his parents, Susan and Ron. Please welcome the captain, number 22, Matt Boone. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in recognizing one final time in the regular season the seniors for their contributions to Dutchman hockey. Their legacy will be remembered for years to come. Congratulations to all. So the honoring of this senior class, Dan, obviously you want to continue success every year, but really, I mean, this is something special to win three out of four Cleary Cups to go to these tournaments. There's 11 other teams in the ECAC. You know, Union College could never have a, a class as successful as this, and uh, they're going to be special. They're going to be remembered. No question. And, you know, tonight they won the game, and it was convincingly, and, and that's the thing that, you know, they'll remember most, too, is the fact that they won the game that was the last regular season home game here at uh, Messerink. Dan Carr has two goals to lead Union to a 6-2 win over St. Lawrence. I want to thank our producer, Greg Bobbitt, our entire crew from Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. We want to thank you. Alongside Dan Fridgen, I'm Matt Debray. Our final score, Union 6, St. Lawrence 2. Have a great night, everybody.